If there was one genre that Screw Attack would like to take to a strip club and buy a lap dance, it would be the fighting genre. We spent hours, days, months just beating the hell out of each other virtual style, so much so that we played all the worst, which we've already touched on, but also the best. Now this is going to be tough, because like most of our list, we're only taking one game per franchise, so we had to go with the absolute best from each. So let's kick some ass. I'm stuttering Craig. Oh, I'm Handsome Tom. That was horrible. For Screw Attack's Top 10 Fighters. But it was fun. Number 10. Nothing like starting off a list with a game with a sweet rock and roll soundtrack and a bunch of dudes that look like chicks. One of the smoothest fighters ever. It's incredibly easy to play and simple to pull off some sweet combos. If you haven't sat down and played X2, you'll be dazzled by the detailed characters and intricacies of the fighting system. Well, thank you, Hanson. Oh my god, what the crap was that? You took the dude to the back of your dojo and made him your geisha. Yeah, and then I smoked my pipe. Of satisfaction. I'm in flavor country. Number nine. Hooray for boobies! The fighting series that revolutionized jubbly jiggling is also known for its badass games. The latest of the series is no different. DOA 4 looks beautiful for an early 360 exclusive. Oh yeah, do it virtual ninja breasts. Yeah. With no fireballs in sight, DOA totally relies on hand-to-hand -hand combat. And who doesn't want to go hand-to-hand -hand with scantily clad hot Asian chicks with giant knockers? Count me in. Oh, and the fighting's good too. Number 8. A staple in the fighting game community, Tekken 3 is widely thought of as the best Tekken of the bunch. Bringing the sidestep ability to the series for the first time added a new element of gameplay that, with a little bit of timing, helped take the game to a whole new level of competitiveness. It had a great balance of characters that allowed gamers to choose the one that suited them best. And if you're a noob, you can always just choose Eddie with his cheap-ass capoeira. What a bastard. Number 7. A perfect example of a game that actually got better with its jump to the home console, the Dreamcast made the original Soul Calibur one of the elite games in history. The second game of the Soul series, it introduced the 8-way run feature that allowed gamers to move freely and avoid attacks at will. And while Soul Calibur 2 had some cool additions to it, most notably the ability to play as custom characters based on which console you are playing the game on, nothing can beat the pure shock and awe we felt the first time we handled up on the first Soul Calibur. It was and still is awesome. Number six. Now this is a game. All the levels, characters. Hold on, hold on. Dude, dude, it's also online. Sweet. One of the best looking fighters ever. It's also one of the most technical. If you ever thought you could beat somebody by button mashing, you'd be rudely awakened with a very strategically placed kick to the face. With the addition of the new monkey kung fu chick and Rey Mysterio, <clears throat> I mean. L Blaze to the World Fighting Tournament, Virtual Fighter 5 is easily one of the most complete fighters ever. Presenting the Brad Show. Number 5. Available for your home in 1995. Only on Nintendo Ultra 64. Killer Instinct. Now, it may not be one of the most complete fighters, but damn, Killer Instinct is fun. KI is one of those games you can play for hours upon hours upon hours with all your friends at the arcades or on the Super Nintendo. We all know about the freakishly cool combos, but there are a couple other things that made KI incredible. How about the way it looked against other fighters and its badass soundtrack? We've said it before and we'll say it again. Please, pretty please, please, bring this to Xbox Live. Number four, fight. After Mortal Kombat came and made politicians everywhere just poo their pants, everyone wanted to see what Midway had up their sleeve for the sequel. And the results blew everyone's mind. The amount of new characters, secrets, and Easter egg made MK2 one of the most entertaining and fun games ever. All while keeping true to what made the original MK sweet. Lots and lots of pixelated blood. While slicing your opponent's head off was pretty awesome, the ultimate form of embarrassment for your opponent was actually a display of love. Friendship. Friendship. Number three. Man, I'm getting so tired of talking about this game. I know, but it's just so damn good. Look, you know it's an awesome fighter. I know it's an awesome fighter. They know it's an awesome fighter. So why do we need to talk about this again? Let's just show something that's also awesome. Puppy montage. That's so cute. Aww. 
Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Number two. There's so much genius in this game. It's crazy. Taking 58, 58 characters and throwing them all in one game is just awesome. Then you have the ability to customize your team of three to fit your own personal fighting style. That is just sweetness. If you want a team of a Marvel superhero, Street Fighter legend, and some spirit Capcom character, that's cool. If you know how to use them, they can be just as effective as a cheap-ass team like Cable, Juggernaut, and Sentinel. You can play this game millions of times against millions of players and never run into the same combination twice. The fourth, and it pains me to say, final installment of the Marvel vs. Capcom series was by far the best. Everything except for the music. Jazz? What the crap? All right, let's get the ass kicking fist to the face recap before we get to number one. Number 10, Guilty Gear X2 Reload. Number nine, DOA 4. Number eight, Tekken 3. Number seven, Soul Calibur. Number six, Virtual Fighter 5. Number five, Killer Instinct. Number four, Mortal Kombat 2. Number three, Super Smash Brothers. Number two, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's number one. We all know Street Fighter 2 made fighters into what they are today, but does that automatically give it the top spot on our list? Survey says... No. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Since we can only choose one game per franchise, we have to go with the best game of the franchise, Third Strike. While Third Strike didn't receive the acclaim the original Street Fighter 2 did, it was just a better game overall. The fighting system is way better, and the ability to tech a player's move made chip damage a thing of the past. The perfect blend of Street Fighter style and new play mechanics made it one of the most fun and complete fighting games ever. And it's 2D, the way Street Fighter should be. Which leads us to Street Fighter 4. Don't make it 3D. 